Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about concrete mist. Hey, this is Jeff with Concrete the Right Way. Here's 10 myths we're gonna kind of look at. And if you guys have some myths about concrete, especially in different areas of the country, of the world, you know, let me know. Let's see if we can bust it, see what we can figure out. Myth number one, concrete dries. Technically, no, it doesn't dry, it cures. Concrete even cures underwater. It takes a long time to cure it. It's not technically drying, because like I said, it'll cure underwater. So that, that goes a long ways. Myth number two, more water makes it better. Not really, more water makes it easier, but it doesn't make it better. You know, it, it makes it nice to come down the chute, shovel around, float, all that. We gotta keep it fairly stiff. You can add plasticizers and all that to get it to be workable, but it's a little more tough. It's, it's tough. You get a little bit too wet or the air is wrong or something in it, it's a bad day especially if you have multiple trucks or you get the whole truck poured out and right at the end of the truck, they're saying it was too wet. And you just poured the whole truck. And when that stuff is at a two inch, three inch slump and you're trying to rot it or any of that, yeah, you do need it. Two inch slump or a half inch slump if you're pouring barrier rail or curb and gutter, you need that stiff stuff. But that stuff has higher air so that it's movable. So more water doesn't necessarily make it better, but it does make it a lot easier. Third myth, concrete is waterproof. No, it's not. You get cracks in concrete, it's porous, it, it sucks in, especially in the winter, especially in freezing areas, that concrete, that's why we put air in concrete in the freezing areas, because when that ice melts and then refreezes at night, you know, everybody knows when stuff freezes, it gets bigger. And when it gets bigger, it'll blow stuff out. So they put air in concrete, so that it has a little flexibility. And concrete can handle that a little bit. But if you have snow or ice on there every day and it just keeps going, it'll start blowing the top off the concrete. People get all upset and they blame it on salt, which salt will do that too. But you get it on there, it's not good. So the whole waterproof thing, it's hard to do. Even cracks, all that, you can seal it up. You can caulk it. Any of that stuff works for a while, but it, you gotta keep up on it. It's a lot of stuff. Myth number four, concrete gets stronger forever. Kind of true. That first 28 days, concrete's getting hard. It's getting strong and then it slows down. Then you got your whatever, 54 day. They kind of keep going and stuff. Technically, concrete keeps getting harder and harder and harder forever, real slow. The bad thing about concrete, when it's 20, 30, 40 years old, it gets so strong, it starts crushing itself. And then that's when you see that old concrete falling apart. It gets so strong, it gets weak. However you want to look at that. Myth number five, cement or concrete? Are they the same thing? Technically, no. Cement is in concrete, but concrete is not cement. And what cement is, cement's the glue that holds the concrete together. Concrete is rock, sand, cement, a whole bunch of chemicals that who knows what the heck they are, plasticizers, they got a lot of chemicals in there. But cement is the glue that you put in there that holds that all together. Cement is activated by water and that's what holds that stuff all together. Cement's awesome, you need it. That's what we patch with, but we really need the concrete. That's what everything is. Those concrete trucks you see driving down the road, they're not cement trucks, they're concrete trucks. So that's myth number five. Myth number six. Thicker slabs are always stronger. Not necessarily. They got mixed designs, they got rebar. I honestly believe though, I would rather go with a thicker slab than have rebar in there. Or a thicker slab than have a specially mixed design that does all this good stuff. I do think thicker slabs do better. We do a lot of stuff, curbs, and we have snow plows and they hit these curbs. So they'll make the curbs deeper into the ground They'll be two foot deep and they still break. I think thicker would be better and make them eight, 10 inches a foot thick instead of tall. The strength from four inch to five inch or six inch is insane. It gets so much stronger. So if you're gonna be pulling big trucks over any of that stuff, go thicker. Rebar, I don't know. I, I don't think it's as cracked up as it is. No pun intended. 
Myth number seven, concrete is maintenance free. Not at all. Wrong again, if you don't seal it or have the right drainage, any of that stuff, you're gonna lose water, you're gonna lose a lot of stuff. You want that water to drain off of there. So you want the proper fall on any of that stuff. If it's decorative, especially in our colder climates, I just bring the colder stuff up because that's where I live. But the colder climates, you gotta have it sealed up it, you'll lose the color you lose all that stuff and that's what's a little tough about those maintenance free or even getting snow on there you got to get the snow off you can't throw salt salt's just horrible for it so even in other places yeah it's a lot nicer you do have some weeds growing up here and there in the cracks just from dirt and whatever else but it ain't maintenance free then you got some idiot parking on there on your driveway and their truck leaks oil and concrete guys, you know that pisses you off. Can't have any oil dripping. I mean, man, I get so upset about that. Hey man, it's free. You gotta keep it clean. Keep it looking good. Myth number eight, adding extra cement makes it stronger. Adding that extra cement does make it stronger, but sometimes if it's too strong, it crushes itself way faster. You don't want that. You want the 50 year concrete. You don't want the 15 year concrete. You know, we have a, 4,000 PSI, which is pounds per square inch. But when you get a 5,500 PSI, to me, that tells me it's gonna set up fast, which means setting up fast means probably gonna crack fast. So there's a fine line there. When you're pouring and you got that 5,500 PSI, our red flag's up a little bit. Hey, this is gonna go. This is gonna be a little faster. Yeah, sometimes a lot nicer to trowel everything but you gotta watch that. So I don't know how much I agree with extra cement. And sometimes they do that for the water cement ratio so they can add a little more water. I do like the 5,500. It's just, if you're doing a big slab, that's it's a little intimidating because you could lose that thing real quick. So sometimes you gotta watch that adding too much cement. Myth number nine, rebar prevents cracks. There are so many people, I get so many comments on why the driveway we just poured doesn't have rebar. Well, one, we're working for either a private person or a housing track or something, and they don't wanna pay for rebar. They're just regular trucks driving in there. Rebar does not prevent cracks. Rebar helps out when it does crack, that it stays at the same elevation and doesn't fluctuate as much. But technically, you put rebar in, it's probably gonna make it crack more than not crack. So all these guys, I get so many comments. Why isn't there rebar in there? Why isn't, it's a four inch driveway. Why would we put rebar? Maybe some other part of the country, rebar's amazing. I think you're better off pouring a little bit thicker than putting rebar in. One, there's no rebar that doesn't have rust on it. It's already rusting. Concrete has water in it. Rebar is metal. That little bit of water is already activating that rebar and it's gonna rust. You can put epoxy coat, you can do all that. It's a lot of money. You're better off just going a little thicker, adding some more fibers. You're gonna do better, I promise you. There's the big stuff that you got semi trucks going over, all that stuff. Yeah, rebar will do okay with that. Especially if you start getting the number five and number six bar. When you have bridges, you need rebar in that because it's gonna crack, all concrete cracks. So you're gonna do a little bit better structurally with rebar in it. But driveways, all that stuff, I think that's just a hustle on people. They feel they need to put it in. It makes them feel warm at night. I have no idea, but I don't think you need rebar in that stuff. Dowels, yeah, from slab to slab, you might need some dowels so that you don't get that fluctuation if it's poured on different days and stuff. I do agree with that. I've seen it, I have it at my house. A couple spots I didn't put dowels in and I got a little bit, little trip hazards that pissed me off. But stuff I've put dowels in, it's money, it doesn't move, it does good. Myth number 10, that you can't pour anytime, anywhere. Yeah, you can. You can pour anytime, anywhere, if you know what you're doing. You can add ice, you can add water. There's places you can add 500 pounds of ice in those trucks. They have misters on the trucks, or you can add heat on the other end. We use hot water and calcium or non-chloride accelerator. That stuff will make it set up but you do gotta know what you're doing. You gotta watch it. You gotta make sure your ground's not frozen. 
Once it's 32 degrees, we kind of go 28 degrees and colder. We got to cover it with blankets and they're not the blankets you sleep with. Back in the day, 40 years ago, they used to put straw on the concrete to stop it from freezing. Well, nowadays we put blankets on it. There are two tarps with three, four, five things of styrofoam insulation or whatever inside of it. That totally helps with the freezing. So that myth that you can't pour when it's too cold or too hot, you can but you do got to know what you're doing. Sometimes those two hot days will get you. And sometimes those two cold days, you're in trouble because next thing you know, that thing froze and then the top's popping off. There you go. 10 concrete myths that are complete BS. All right, guys, that wraps this up. If you haven't seen our last video about apprentices, go check it out. Pretty good. We had some great comments on it. We've had some people talking shit, which is great. We love that. Most of them, I think they were apprentices. They're trying to get out of work. Check out our new stuff.